If you're a Haas alum looking to make a mid-career transition, you've come to the right place. I'm Lara Klein, a career coach in the Haas MBA Career Management Group, and today I'll show you a seven-step process to make a satisfying career change. You'll also hear from three Haas alumni who made successful career changes. I was a program manager slash business development manager at a high-tech company in the Bay Area. I shifted gears to help people buy and sell real estate. Before, I was in corporate finance at public university systems, but now I am in the field of design. I was a senior account manager in financial services, and now I work in development at the Marine Mammal Center, and I'm an animal care specialist. The first step is to identify what you're good at. What are the skills, knowledge, or traits that you enjoy using in your current job or in your previous roles. One of my major skills was project management, getting things done from, from A to B. I didn't realize it, but I, I had become a systems designer in finance, and then I translated that systems design expertise into design design. The next step is to get down on paper the things that are important to you. What are your interests? What do you truly enjoy doing at work, in your volunteer work, or in your personal life? What are your values? Fortunately for me, I had been volunteering at the Marine Mammal Center for about 10 years before I actually made this pivot for my career. So that was a natural place for me to look. I was tired of people telling me that I couldn't be something. I decided to start my own business because I could actually define the culture, the values, the way I wanted to treat people, and how I wanted people to treat me. The third step is to explore and experiment. Get out there and experience things and talk to people. Follow your curiosity and say yes. Some things you can do in this step are freelance work, volunteer work, taking classes, attending conferences, and networking and informational interviews. I was invited to attend this lecture, and it wasn't a lecture at all. It was a rapid prototyping workshop. We were uh, designing ideas and making them out of Play-Doh and pipe cleaners. I very much enjoy working with animals. I've enjoyed learning about the environment of nonprofit. Through steps one, two, and three, you will gain clarity about what's next for you. Then in step four, you'll want to determine whether there are any gaps in your knowledge or skills relative to this career choice. I have had to learn an awful lot about animals and veterinary uh, medicine. I was considered a business designer and a systems designer, but I hadn't gone to design school. And so the vocabularies are very different. That's why I'm in uh, CCA right now, earning my Master of Design. In step five, you'll want to create a marketing plan for yourself as if you were going to market a product. Make a list of your target companies. Be able to articulate the types of positions you're targeting and why you are a good fit. Create a positioning statement for yourself. What makes you unique? And finally, what is your plan for generating interviews? Networking, direct outreach? For the most part, for me, it was networking. Things that you say, well, that looks like fun. Wouldn't that be interesting? And talking to somebody who knows somebody who is from that industry. Step six is the active job search part of the process. You are networking with people at your target companies and communicating your value proposition through your resume, your cover letter, your LinkedIn profile, and in conversations and interviews. As opportunities arise, you will want to evaluate them, see how well they line up with your values, and negotiate your compensation package. I wanted to make sure that I did this with my eyes wide open and that I didn't do anything which would jeopardize some of the people whom I love around me. Your quality of life isn't just about what the deposits are every two weeks in your bank account. It's, it's everything. There's a value to everything. Making a career change can take time, and it's often not a linear process. Give yourself permission to explore, experiment, and iterate as you go along. You may want to work with a career coach who can help you gain clarity, process what you are discovering, and implement an action plan. Engage with your Haas network, and most importantly, be true to yourself. If you have a dream that you're trying to pursue, don't be afraid of it, and you will find more happiness than you can imagine. I'm happier now than I've ever been. The funny thing is I worried about whether or not I could ever afford to do this. And actually, I would say in my life, when I look at all the components which are important to me, I don't think I could have ever afforded not to do this.